Hi, this is Nate with Keysoft Solutions. Today's getting started video with AutoStripe for AutoCAD is going to focus on quantity takeoffs, labeling, and pricing. So we've done all of this layout with AutoStripe objects, and that's great and all. It's very accurate, and it's easy to edit and address modifications throughout the design process but the, some of the real power comes in when we start quantifying these objects. And to do that, first let's look at the AutoStripe's tool ribbon. Um, you'll do most of your design work in AutoStripe ribbon, uh, but the AutoStripe tools are, is a good place to find settings and also uh, labeling and the inquiry command. Let's first label a few items to see how that works. I can just click on anything that's a auto stripe object. So for example, that hatch, I can draw a quick leader line and it's going to give me a piece of text that describes that object. Now these are completely customizable. Um, whatever you want to come into those text fields, you can edit whether that's uh, the detail number from the MUTCD standards or what it, whatever it might be. Uh, those can be edited here under edit label descriptions. We can go through the complete list of all possible objects and assign you know custom descriptions for those objects. We can also double click on these objects and do some editing as well so things like how arrowheads look, um, if there's a box around it, the size of the text. This can be done on a label by label case or it can be done globally from that settings menu I just showed you. Now let's do a inquiry table. I'm going to hit the inquiry button. I'm going to select the objects I want to, to, to get the takeoff from so normally that's everything but you can be more specific. You can also include pricing. You can set up multiple contractor price lists within AutoStripe. Additional options include some, some display info, whether you want the date stamped on your takeoff, and if you want to output to an Excel or a CSV file, you can do that as well. I'm going to hit global so that I select every single uh, AutoStripe object that's in this drawing. Click generate. Let's find a place off to the side of the drawing to place this table. We can zoom in and see that we have linear takeoffs for things like um, uh, center line stripes and lane lines. We have text objects, and these are a per letter pricing basis. We have uh, symbols like arrows that are also a unit based pricing. And then areas for things like hatches that have you know a thicker um, mark marking pattern that you might be laying out by hand rather than by machine. These prices that are in here with the default contractor are all arbitrary uh, just so that no one gets confused that those are real numbers. But we can change those if we go into our options. So let's go to settings. Let's go to rates and here we can go through and adjust the rates or create new price lists for a specific circumstance. If I go in and make a change to the design, all I have to do is go back to inquiry and generate a new table. It's going to be date stamped with the new date and uh, we can erase the old one if needed. I hope you found this series of getting started videos helpful. Hopefully these get you going on that first project and that second project is going to be even more uh, efficient and profitable for your firm. Thanks for watching.